Hi everybody, welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. Another bird feeding episode today requested from YouTube and that is about seed blocks and seed cylinders. In other words, clean feeding. People uh, that don't feed birds or have tried feeding birds and give it up, one of the reasons they give is that it's so messy. They don't like the mess. They don't like all the seed falling to the ground and the, the birds throwing it out onto the ground, seed tossing as we call it. So one really good solution to that are the seed blocks and seed cylinders. Now the key of course to that is pectin. Pectin holds the seed together and the birds are able to peck it, peek a, a, a seed out at a time, a nut out at a time, or maybe knock off a little bit. But not like uh, bird feeding where there's open tray and especially you see blue jays, and morning doves, several birds that are really bad for just tossing seed left and right and, and, and getting all over the ground or all over your deck and things like that. So that's, that's messy, whereas this is a very clean seeding, seed feeding program. The guy who created this company, the Mr. Bird Company with the seed cylinders, he is... Uh, when he first talked, I first talked to him at a buyer show years ago, he said on average that a block of seed like this lasts five times longer than the equivalent weight of the loose seed that's in here. So uh, again, it slows birds down like I said, and prevents that seed tossing. And they can pre be presented many different ways. They've got, as you can see, there's lots of different feeders and there's also the smaller blocks as well as large cylinders, small cylinders. The most common way to present them is on some type of hanging feeder because there's a hole through the center of the cylinder and so this rod fits right up through there and this is a classic bird's will hand right on it. Cling on my, my Carolina wrens always love clinging right to the uh, the block itself and pecking seed off of there. And then there are feeders that are specifically made they, that, that can also show you how popular this feeding style has become. When companies start making bird feeders to, to fit this product, uh, and they, they have, and there's ways to you know, place your block on there. And then, of course, rain hoods are always good ideas when you're coming, talking about something like this, especially rain and snow. The hood will make your seed cylinder last even longer. And there is always just placing it in a tray. I've had people just set it in, in a tray. Sometimes they have a, a nail up through the top where it can sit on and so it doesn't get knocked off. Uh, they, they're, this is a unique one in that it fits to the feeder that way and it and it's suspended up there in the air of course which keeps it from being decayed by weather wet rain and snow as well there are many different formulas now this is another thing it started out very very simple and now it's greatly expanded in the the, the products that are available in that including um, straight safflower and golden sap that's just now come out in the cylinders for the anti-blackbirds and the anti-squirrels and we, they also have their heat treated formulas. Now this is uh, Burn in Love, which is just all sunflower hearts and, and completely treated. It works really, really well against uh, the squirrels and the raccoons. So lots of different formulas, lots of different ways to do it. They also have large cake in the seed formulas, which are made for the larger suet cake. Uh, holders, you can, the seed cakes fit in those, so that's another way to present them. So this is a a, a good way to feed cleanly, uh, and it prevents a lot, of, like I said, the seed tossing and a lot of mess on your deck. So it's a great idea for a program. Thanks for sending that in because uh, you know people are out there looking for these tips, and we want to help you out. So send in ideas for future programs. Uh, please like, please subscribe, and if you're on YouTube, make sure you ring that bell so you know when I'm on next. Until then, come on, let's talk birds.